Can I hear? Yeah, yeah. Man, I feel like Baron Manilow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got, I got a title for our. Uh, Welcome to the podcast, where the old school meets the new school. I am Tito Devon, and I'm Tito Darius, and we are the Double D's. What's What's on Tito D's mind? Oh my man, you guys, especially you. Uh, hmm. You were discussing about movies, right? Yeah. yeah. Netflix, what's on and what's not. Yeah. The issue. And suddenly, while I was listening, because I was I listened to your podcast during, like, during shopping that time. Yeah. I was grocery, literally. When you mentioned Delirious. Yeah. By Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Guys, you gotta watch it. The old the young box, watch that. Yeah. Man, the amount I I know, the amount of foul that comes out. Yeah. <laughs> the amount of fa- it's, it's ridiculous it's, it's ridiculous but that's the old school jokes right it's it wasn't to hit someone it was just you can't be sensitive because the, um, now when you joke around yeah you gotta look you gotta turn left or right you gotta look behind your back yeah you gotta be behind you. because you might offend mm. someone you'll offend anyone so that's the hardest part yeah i i don't but with that one Man, he literally ripped it apart. Yeah. And there, there's also uh Martin Lawrence one, uh Run Tell That. My mm. you gotta watch that too. I haven't watched that. It's uh I? man, he, it's a live studio what he did. Yeah, he kills it. Yeah, he literally kills it. Then the only reason why I brought it up is the sen- being sensitive, mm. right? Yeah. Hey, I'm 20 times two. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so Old school, it's really hard to listen to kind of jokes like that. When you know, when they say the the f word or the f bomb, it's just norm. Mm. But now you can't just say that because once again, the, it's weird. the it's genre weird. has changed, the culture has changed, yeah. yeah, people has changed. I guess you know, especially the young ones. Yeah, but you can laugh about it. People won't I laugh think, about. It. I think you have to be able to laugh at stuff. Yeah, I think it's important to be laugh to laugh at things. That's why when when you brought that up, and the other week when I rewatch uh, the show of Jokoi, which the, one? The one in Hawaii. Which one? Uh, the one. The variety the, show. No, the not the other one, the Hawaii, the Hawaiian one. Okay. When 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 he was in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. There was a part in this. Uh, he said, "Guys, it's only a joke. Mm. Don't be sensitive." Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. literally, it's a joke. He it's literally repeated. He said, "You're coming." It's. You're here right now. It's everything down here. It's a joke. Yeah, you come to my show to laugh. Yeah, to not, laugh. Not, it not, don't, to get not to get offended. Yeah. So he literally said. He literally said that. So that's why I keep saying that, man. People, young guys, or I wouldn't say young guys, people has to be open minded when it comes to jokes. Yeah, I guess there are some barriers. Yeah, where, yeah, yeah. But you know me. Mm. My joke sometimes it's. Off the roof. It, it's it's uh, it, off a different era. Yeah, your and like yeah, it's really hard for me, guys. As I said, it's uncensored, and uh, and raw. I'm gonna tell you as it is. All right. When I joke, I joke. Yeah. But it doesn't have a meaning to it. Meaning everything's a joke, right? Because I grew up in that kind of situation like that. Yeah. Right. Okay? right you right. laugh it off. Yeah. Yeah. You you laugh at the moment every time. That's why it's really hard for me sometimes right now. Mm. You got to hold back rather than pressing the uh, oh, accelerating 100, you know, to 100 then oops, wait a minute. I got to check my back. <laughs> it's really it's really hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've learned that also it's a lesson for me also uh, at work, right? Yeah. So because once again it could be a, it's a HR policy. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but you can't be sensitive when it comes to joke. That's all I always say. With um, I I just I I I have observed that well, I have had to like um, certain jokes I can't say or certain things I can't. You can't say, say, say now to a certain selected people that you can. No, I'm talking about like just with if I'm with different people, I, I'm just like oh shit, they they're not ready for that kind of. Like, oh yeah! Like, let's say, I, I know, I know, I feel you. But if, like, let's say I'm even with um even with um age group. So like, if I'm with a younger, um younger generation, they won't understand my joke. They won't get my humor because it came from a different era. It's like that doesn't make because I've I've tried to do it with my younger cousins. They don't get it. They don't get it. 
they just don't get it. And I'm like, what am I doing? Why am I trying to impress it's, it's, or it's not it's relatable? Nice, yeah, it's, it's not relatable to them. It's, it's funny a different though, time. But my daughter sees me as as corny when I uh, joke in the kind of situation like that. So, but different, different age group. You know, my kids see me as corny. Yeah, they like, they they don't understand. They're like, okay, is that pretty? That's funny, eh? What do you reckon? And they go, no, dad. Yeah, it's like no, there's a, it, it stop. It stop. <laughs> it stop. I go, bam! It stops straight away. Yeah. So, but yeah, when it comes to jokes, the amount of uh, live, how would you say, live show mm. that I've been to, man, you can't be sensitive. You have to be an open minded because there yeah. are like when you have Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Like those guys, um, uh, Martin Lawrence. When I watched it, uh, there's another guy. Uh, the tall guy, uh, what's his name? Oh, the Chris one Rock. With the, oh, Chris Rock. Chris How about Rock. the guy with Chris the mo? Tucker? The guy ne- with the mo. Um, he did uh, Family Feud in America. Family Feud. Family Feud. Uh, what's his name? Family Feud. The bald guy. Yeah. Uh yep. His his jokes. All his yeah. jokes. Oh, is Bernie Mac. Bernie, Bernie Mac was Mac. crazy. Is Bernie Mac dead? Yeah, he died. Yeah, he died. Yeah. So but, he died. all right. So my sister, I watched Delirious with my sister ages ago, right? Yeah. And so I just, and like I told 15, her twenty years ago. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I told her I go. I just watched Delirious. I'm cracking up. I'm cracking up. And she goes, "All right, I'll watch it." And she started watching it. She goes, "It's very racist." And I'm like, "I go, yeah, but he doesn't aim it at anyone. It's he's just laughing how, at everyone. Yeah, it's how he delivered it. Yeah, right. It's that's what I said. It's how you deliver yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, so. yeah. It was like I still, man. I I don't know. I still find it funny. Oh. But maybe it's nostalgia with me. More nostalgia than. It's, would than. you would you would you let your kids to watch it? Will they understand? Probably not. Not because the amount. Of, yeah, <laughs> the well, amount of cursing in that. Yeah, concert, yeah. They it, they probably won't understand. But like of age, if they come of age or like fifteen, whatever, I'll go watch it. Watch it. I want you to watch it. Watch what. Enjoy my, it. Yeah. Yeah. Watch what I grew up on. Enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy it. That's the that's the that's that's the funny thing about it. That's See, the funny. I don't know. I don't know how much is um sensitive right and then how much of it is kept behind closed doors so i'd rather it be in the open than behind closed doors Boom. see because like there's a lot of like so for me would you rather eddie murphy or dave Chappelle say those things behind closed doors see, and not and not know how he thinks or expresses because like dave Chappelle, he is ruthless and he says what's on his mind right but at the same time he he says stuff that you just go, huh? I never thought about it that way. It gives you an, a di- different perspective. Yeah, it one hundred percent gives you it a different gives, perspective. But it's how you deliver, it, right? That's why it, make, it, it makes me laugh. Mm. It makes me laugh when you are look. People will sometimes judge you for the way you joke at, but when they watch up. An artist who are, mm. who is famous, yeah, they laugh about it. But if you deliver it. There's no, it's like a double standard. So I was just talking about that DJ Khaled. Yep. You know, DJ Khaled, do you know how he just says stuff? On his career. Uh, Anyway, like I reckon that's the way he was, right? But if he, like you said, if he wasn't famous and he started saying the stuff that he said, it'd be like, you're a weirdo. But because he's famous, it's like, huh, that's genius. You know, prior to September 12th, Mm. the Twin Tower, you know, he changed his name. To a... It was some, uh, you check it, Arab something. This was brought up to me earlier on. Prior to September 12th, his uh, nickname. Oh, nickname? Oh, they, because he wasn't DJ Khaled. What was his DJ name oh, before? Some Arab, Arab name. What did DJ Khaled change his name? Why? Oh, where is it? His original birth name is Khaled Muhammad yeah. Khaled, right? Yeah. Oh, his name was DJ Attack. <laughs> There's another one. What? There's another one. No, no, that was it. He said he was known. This is when he was known as DJ Attack, which he thought became too insensitive after the, the 9-11 attack. The 9-11. I think there's a different one. I think I heard it. So it's DJ Attack. So DJ Attack. There's the facts. So. Oh, there you go. So he changed his name. Pro- is it after or before after them yeah i, it was I after, guess after, 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 yeah. after um yeah so look i don't know i don't know but i don't I, I, like humor is massive in my in my life 
Humor is oh, like yeah, something definitely, definitely. I've got to laugh, or it's just like no. It's, I, when when it comes to me, as yeah. you said, I need to laugh. Yeah, I have to laugh. Mm. But now I have to restrain myself. Also, that the uh, hardest part is when you're restraining yourself. Do you from, do you have to restrain yourself? Ye, because yes, I, I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, because it might offend others. Mm. That's why I select the. I started learning how to which group and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the so hardest like, part. Yeah, yeah. But being sensitive in the kind of way that okay, let's just you have to respect. Mm. So when it, like when we talk about, I got a lot of guys who are Christian and Muslims, mm. different ethnic background. Man, when we go together, yeah. we just literally hammer hammer each other. But if, yeah, yeah. if another guy comes in. What the hell's going on? You just like Of course. That's like, you're like a group of friends. That of course. Yeah, but of course. They, it feels like they're they're in a twilight zone, right? Oh, 100%, yeah. yeah. They won't understand that one. They won't understand that one. But going back to that, as we said earlier on, that if you can joke around if you're famous, no problem. Mm. But if you deliver your own, you've been treated another a, a different a, So a diff- say that again, say that again. So if you were like Chris Rock, Chris Tucker. Yeah. Or even Eddie Murphy. Yeah. So if it's a very sensitive stuff, they'll laugh about it. Yeah. Because they're famous. Yeah. But if I deliver or you deliver it, man, you're going to get hammered. Yeah, right. I get, I get Do you what think that's saying. a double standard? Oh, 100%. But like saying that, Ellen is pretty famous. I, I don't know what happened getting, to Ellen. She's getting creamed now. What happened to Ellen? She's saying that like, because all the, all, the, all, her- all the skeletons coming out of the closet now. But I don't know how much of it's true. Right, because like I, I in my head, I wonder, I wonder like, how how come people aren't standing by her when like she was pe- like bringing people up? So like, people that needed to promote something would come onto the Ellen show straight away. So I don't understand, like I just don't get it. I, I like why go on the Ellen show if you already know that the Ellen show is like Bu- uh, all is bad. I hear. It's what? all I hear. Is she's a bully. Yeah, if that's correct. But look, guys, I don't watch news. I don't want in the last this COVID stuff. Well, since it got started, I've just been watching a lot of YouTube on infographics. I don't know, if it, man, guys. I think I hit my midlife. What crime. are you talking about? Yeah. What are you talking about? Infographics. Infographics. Why? I don't know. I, I love it. For for what? What do you? So what? infographic. No, you're probably thinking about a different infographic. Oh, infographics okay. about documentary. It's small mini clips, right? right? Right. So they're literally animated. So for example, they talk about the history of World War One or what, whatever it may be. Yeah. So whatever, if it's the current, uh, the current news. So I'll just follow that for 15 minutes. Right. It gives me wow. You know, okay. they they break it down. So I've been doing that. Also, man, I don't know if I've just. My heart at the moment, I'm, man, I'm always listening to acoustic guitar. Yeah. So there's two guys that travels around um, music for love. All they do is they'll they'll sing all my favorite, like old school music. What? What's their names? Oh, it's in the YouTube. Let me look it up for you, mate. I'm bad, guys. If you know T2D, I'm losing. I'm, I need my, I need brain cells right now. What is it called? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm bad. Keep talking, keep talking. Um, uh, talking about music. M- music travel love. Music travel love. Yeah. I've just heard about this, um, trying to listen to music at three, 432 hertz. Have you heard of that? That's explain, to be, it, explain it to me. It's, uh, so all the music is played at 430 hertz, which is the pressing, the pressing frequency. But if so you it's play, like a hum. But if you, yeah, but it's the under hum of the music. Mm. It's not the actual music, it's the under hum. So it's the frequency that it's played at. Okay. I never, I don't know how you. So, um, so the mm. frequency of uh, a human that can hear, I think it can only go up to, and you got to be pretty good at 20,000 20, hertz. Right, guys. That's a producer that day. Uh, actually, actually, I think it's only ten thousand. And after that, so you know how like you can blow a whistle and then only dogs can hear it. Really? Yeah. So they can hear at a different uh, their okay, frequency. Th- okay. Those dog whistles. The right? dog yeah. whistles. But we can't hear it. We're like, what are they? And the dogs go. Oh. Yeah, because of the uh, the sound. They, they're uh, yeah. So um, what what are they called? 
Which one? Uh, m- music travel love. There's two guys that travels, right? Literally, I don't know if it could be pre-COVID or post-COVID or I guess... Where are they from? Uh, What's your favorite one? What's your favorite one? They went to the Philippines. Yeah, they did. Do you want to listen to that one? Listen to that one. Right Here Waiting by Travel Love. Do you want to hear that? Yeah, go go play it. All right. Guys, follow it. Uh, it's It's a remix on old school. I'm really loving uh um, Because you're the you're you love your uh, acoustic, right? No. No, I don't. What the hell's there for? That's just for show. Oh guys, there you go. I don't even think I could be able to play this on the podcast. So you, you better describe it. Can you put it down here? What's the title of the song? Here w- right here waiting by Right here waiting. So I've been listening to all their song. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Yeah, I really don't know why. I know why. It sounds nice. It's just it's ser- ser- uh, serenity. 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 Yeah. Are yeah. you George Costanza? Uh, <laughs> serenity now. Serenity now. So, uh, I don't know. They're good. I like them. Yeah. Wherever you go, go wherever you do. And karaoke's out. Double Bring D's. Me. Uh, we need to do karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been following that one. Yeah. Uh, what else? It's uh, you're uh, looking for Zen, aren't you? You're looking for a peaceful place to to rest your thoughts. I don't know because I'm just I'm just picking uh, you're, up because you're, you're analyzing, playing. Yeah. No, I'm not analyzing. You you listen to this music. You're going to you mine a beach. You, you mine a beach. Yeah. You look. You listen to the waves. It's just it seems relaxing. like you're in a really uh, a harmony. You, you're trying to be in harmony with Not the world. Not in harmony, just harmony. <laughs> <laughs> Not in e e harmony, harmony. All right, guys, that's a different. Uh. So, yeah, I don't know why. You know, it makes me feel more relaxed. Yeah, that's right? good. It's just that's good. what I said. Uh, I don't. I hardly read news. Yeah. Um, I think um, talking about news, Denzel Washington said this right. He he um he said that uh. He was having an interview on the red carpet and he said that you people with the microphone have a responsibility. To deliver. Not to deliver. Uh, yeah, to deliver um, uh, co- like correct news. I mean, yeah. um, what do you call it? What do you call facts. correct news? F- yeah. Facts. Facts, right? Yeah, rather than... Because um, it's not even about being... He said it's not even being about right. It's not about being right. It's about being first. So you don't even put news out that is right. You just put it's shit the, out. It's the, the, the word that they twist. Yeah. Okay. When did... Uh, look, my heart goes through, guys. Uh, we know that recently, Lebanon. Oh, man. That's yeah, just, that was... So recently with a big blast, right? Uh, there was a news mm. that I read. And I was just waiting because the go Look, it was just trending. The yeah. amount of trending. So... First, because we know it was ammonium nitrate fertilizer, it became six years of uh, in the file that I put the last six years, it became a totally kaboom, one yeah. big bomb. And suddenly, another news said, uh, Israel attack. I go, It's only like not even four hours, yet, and you're saying this already, yeah, and literally, the governor and the pro- I think the president, or I could be wrong, but the governor said. Yeah, we. It's our fault. We made a mistake. You know, there was a, a the governor of uh, uh, Beirut. Oh, right? Lebanon. Yeah, yeah. Lebanon. Le- Beirut is the capital, yeah. right? So the port of Beirut. But be- due to the fact there was a corruption, so they're yeah. bl- they're playing. Me- look, they're playing games now, blaming games. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. who's responsible it was? But the reality is, there's no terrorism. It mm. wasn't an accident. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So. And you, then people flood it with all these fake news. That's what you're trying to get. I at. hate it. Yeah, I yeah, hate it. Too. I hate it because guys, because remember, lives are stakes in here. Yeah, it's just it's not. It's a game, just man. This, this is the first time I've seen the mushroom. Uh, how the mushroom ex, uh, exploded? Yeah, how it created from a, wow, one they big blast. It was similar to um, it was uh, Hiroshima, right? Inc- man, the way how you see literally. Watching it, yeah, I go, I go. It's like a normal fire. Then suddenly, suddenly, it wasn't the the sonic boom yet, right? It was a, 
it, there's no sound. It was just the smoke, the mushroom. Then you see one big blast just spread. He reached up to 250 kilometers. Ah, around. 250 kilometers. You know, um, man, you saw this because like everyone's on their phones, right? There was this girl, she decided to like do a TikTok yep. on her phone and she was like, man, it was, I felt her pain straight away, right? Because she was like going to make a fun video, right? She's going out to a balcony. And dancing. And that like, and then all of a sudden she sees from her unit, apartment, the, the f- explosion. And she just freaks out. She's holding her phone still. But her face is like pain, like actual pain. It's like you, you can tell that you she's so scared. Yeah, you don't know, know what's going to happen, right? You don't. You you just suddenly don't. you see, oh, okay, look, from far away, let's say 50 Ks, even 10 Ks. Oh, mm. it's a fire. Yeah, Nothing's yeah. going to happen. When suddenly a, it's a, a 3.8 magnitude. Yeah. Er, it's like similar to a 3.8 magnitude earthquake. Yeah. Then plus a one, one big uh, one big bang. Yeah. It changes. And every the funny is I wouldn't say the funny. Let me reward that. People were intrigued, like yourself. Okay, let's watch it. Then mm. suddenly they they don't know or they don't realize that there's the outflow or you know the outburst of yeah, the yeah. the effect. They just wow. It and well, oh, can I ask you where at what what kind of um, uh, what platform did you find out about it? Uh, because my uh, my TV will oh there's a channel nine straight away. So you sort of on normal TV like no, normal uh, so, media. Yeah, because what happens is my TV is programmed to uh, turn on. It's like my alarm. Oh yeah! Wow. So it turns on. Wow, so, that's crazy. So I just do because to lighten up my, uh, my the bedroom. Yeah. So and. I think I don't know why news first came out and said there you go uh, there's a a large explosion from Beirut. Then, okay, so I'm only asking because I only saw it on Instagram. Okay, that's why I was asking if you. So you saw it on normal so, media. N- n- normal it's media. the original media. So then, I didn't look after so after that. I looked at it. F- I think five hours after or seven mm-hmm. hours after. Then three stories. They were blaming game uh, again. Another straight away. Straight away. I said, wait a minute. The go, the government itself or mm. the governor itself, Beirut, saying, you know, it's our we made a mistake. Yeah, yeah. I hate you know too much that, fake news. Too, too much fake news. Mm. Which one's real and which one's you, not? You can't even tell anymore. You can't. You can't. It's the hardest part. Look, there's a hundred dead. If I, I think, if they reach, the, um, other from that. Hey, man! I'm, the hospital, uh, uh, the hardest part down there because of what's happening right now with pandemic, yeah, and of the COVID, the hospital is packed. stretched. So yeah, right, right now, plus this, but it showed you how the effect of a nitri- uh, what was it, nitric ammonia, yeah, how it can create, yeah. But other from that, let's move on. Come let's on. move on. And my, that, it's just like my heart goes to, the, to yeah. those guys, all right? But let's move on. Um, Pause the podcast. Okay, if you are listening on your phone, pick it up right now. Go on to your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, get us at the B-Side Word. And did you know that we actually record these with video as well? You can find us on YouTube, again, at the B-Side Word. And we would love it if you subscribe. Uh, sus- uh, I can't even speak. A subscribe. Uh, yeah, there we go. The if remix. you want, you can leave us some comments. We love to engage. And you know sus- what? Sus- Let me ask you this. If you do follow us on any of these already, what is it you would like to see from us? Leave us some comments. Let us know. Oh, what he said. Great. What he said. Subscribe. Sub sub. I can't say the word for some reason. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> and pause the podcast. Hey, I blame you on this. Why? 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 TikTok. Why? I started. Are doing you addicted what? to TikTok? I'm just addicted to TikTok sometimes. <laughs> right, she was showing this, right? Who is this person? I don't know. I'm bad with names. Did you hear? Uh, Microsoft's gonna buy TikTok. Did you hear that? Mm, no. I, I told you about the IG Reels a like, fortnight yeah. ago. It hasn't come out yet. It did. It didn't. It did. I just Select, checked it. Selected countries that they're testing it. Oh. I, I think Australia's in it. I didn't see it. It's it's right there. It's already started. This guy's old, guys. It's not on the... It's not on the IG Reel. Is IG Reels in Australia? Yeah. There's no, nothing. 
Animal clothes. Here, reels. Oh, two days ago. It just happened. Yeah. Uh, 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 excuses, <laughs> excuses. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you actually got it. You got it straight away on oh. your story. But I never used it. Like, I don't use TikTok. Oh, okay. I want to do it. I want to do some dance move. <laughs> yeah, I, I really do. <laughs> now, okay. <laughs> I got a question. All right? right. Now, this is so funny. All right. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know how, how I'm going to approach this far Just out. straight up. Straight up. It's uncensored, right? It's yeah, raw. it's uncensored. Okay, raw. good. There's a lot of dance move in there. There's a lot of... Uh, someone said, oh, Darius, you got to watch this the Barbie Rubbers. So what is a Barbie? No, no, it's not there. They call uh. it Barbie Rubbers because it's all fake. Huh? Fake. Fake breasts. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But they have this... I was watching this. I don't know. Because they, they always... See, where do you draw the line and where do you draw the line as a joke? Because are you disrespect are you disrespecting a woman or a female, or are they happy to flaunt it? What are you talking about? Their breasts. Right. So why is it a joke? What do you mean? Because some some people would joke around. Oh, she got a big breast. Yeah. Or she has a big rubber breast. Or she. Right, has yeah. But you can't say that. Why? Because people, if people hear it, listen, was, Darius, that's you why, will offend ev anyone. That's why I said, like, where if do you, you draw say the line, right? You don't. But then you suddenly, don't draw the then, line. Then, then suddenly, female like this are flaunting it through in through there's internet. There's no like, there's no answer. There's no universal answer. So it's always got to be in context. So if there's no universal answer. I'm telling you now. Like you could look forever. The the monks. It, the monks in the Buddha temp temple don't even have the answer th to that. Because if you do not speak, that's your answer. So, <laughs> so uh, there is a dance called Doce Pares. Wait a minute. Hold on. And I'm going to show you this. Okay. Hold on. Oh. That sounds like a Thailand. N no. It's a, it's a little majority of these songs are techno, right? Yeah. So I, I, I want you, I want you to play it. I want you to play it. It's funny. Uh, it's passing Tore or passing Dore or passing Goreng. <laughs> That's in TikTok. <laughs> passing. I liked it. I know why you liked it. Yeah, but is it bad to like it or? I'm just. What do you mean? What do you mean? Because is it bad? if you talk about it, yeah, it's, is it sensitive? It's to other people, or what do you mean? See, you can't joke like this, right? Why? I Why? don't know. Why? I don't understand. Of because course, you can joke. Because they said, "Oh, you offend that person." But if that, that per person that's doing it, let's say if that person's showing it and flaunting it, yeah, worldwide. I mean, I, I see what you're saying. You, like, you can't. Um, it's like. Just because a girl, like, you can't go up to that girl and start saying, oh, jump for me. You can't say that to a girl. That's insensitive. Like, but if you enjoy her video, right, which is cool. Which is cool. That's There's cool. no problem. Like, it's I giving me more extra life. Right. <laughs> but I don't think, I, like, I, don't, I wouldn't go up to the girl and go, oh, can you do that video for me? Passing <laughs> gore. <laughs> passing, passing gore. Yeah, it's, like, it's like Mario Brothers. Oh, yes. Yeah, pop, pop, uh, pop. Yeah. I guess it's like um, seeing Michael Jordan, right? Let, let's say he's, um, he's my, like Michael Jordan. MJ, right? yep. And then you go up to him and go, oh, shoot a three point for me. You wouldn't do that. It's like, it's, it's not a thing. You go... You know what I mean? I mean, like you can ask, you now, can say okay, anything so, to you can say anything to a person, but they have the right to be offended. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hardest part. That's so what I mean. It's like a discussion in a group. Yeah, you gotta go. Should you know? Am I gonna offend someone because of this? Mm -hmm. That's the hardest part. You know, it's like you're all. I'm ho at the moment, guys. I'm always pu putting my park break. It's oh, like right, right, because. Mm. Wait a minute. People are watching it. People are planting it. People mm. are talking about it. But when you try to open it up, then it goes, oh, man, you're crazy. Who cares? I go, okay, where do you draw the line? 
That's why I get, but it's funny though the TikTok about like that this. was funny. That was funny. It's funny. There's it's, more. There's there's a lot of different ways. It can, there's a lot of some song. I or, mean, I'm not watching that for hours. I'm like, I've seen I, it. I don't watch hours, guys. <laughs> I, I don't. It's I, just I've it gives it. me extra life. <laughs> All right, it's just like give, give, look, look at my smile ear to ear. Right, I mean, it's the techno song. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm in stereo sonic. Passing gore. I could go like I could watch this watching basketball. My head will go like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like if it's a volleyball, yeah. I just have a headphone. Passing gore. Passing passing gore. As there you go, I picked it up yeah, straight yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. To me, it's it gives. Like it makes me smile. Yeah, yeah. But in the same time, also people will watch it. People will also give you a bad answer. You get me? I mean, I I, I don't but, understand. Uh, like it's it's hard to explain it, guys. Yeah. Like a bad feedback, right? They'll either agree with you mm. or disagree with you. Of uh, that's course. Not, that, that's fine. We disagree yeah, of with. Course. You. The funniest thing about it, where do you draw the line? Of what? I don't understand what where the do you line. Draw line. For example, when you brought it up in a, in a group chat, I said, yeah. oh, "Oh, you can't say that because you know, the, your What's the right word? Your mm. it's not it's not sexist. It's not It's inappropriate. Inappropriate, but it's not. I mean, depending, that's why I said in context. It always has to be in context. Like if it's like if you're if you know the person that you're sharing it with is open to that kind of stuff, then it's fine. It should be everyone should be open to that stuff. <laughs> now what I'm trying to say, if you are if if people are flaunting it or showing it or entertaining it. Yeah. I mean, it, it's like it it's a it's a I don't know if it's a deficiency in the human brain to think that the way we think, other people should think. You know what I mean? I understand. Yeah. So like... Guys, I'm just lost. All right? <laughs> I, that's why I'm trying to find my zen. Oh. But with that zen, passing gore. <laughs> but guys, that's it. If you're going to look at passing gore or dore. So it's either letter G. I think I would look at it. Is that Spanish? I don't know. I thought man. it was Thai. There's a lot. There's a Spanish version. There's a Thai version. Mm. There's a, I don't know, a multicultural version. <laughs> but it'll give you extra life. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? That's funny. You said that with that uh, whole discussion thing, right? So there's this uh, scientific uh, fact. No quote. I'm gonna give you a quote. So life is ten percent what happens to you and ninety percent of how you react to it. So if it's listen to that, listen to that. I just learned this, um, and this changed everything for me. Right. So ten percent. Ten percent. What happens to you? Yep. And ninety percent is how you react to it. Yeah, I think coming in, I I just read about this too. Did you in the car? Yeah. Yeah. So ninety percent. That means ninety percent is in your hands. It is a If not a hundred percent. Hmm. It. I know it was a different. It's he was saying that if they do it to you, it's karma. But it's it's how you react. Mm. It's similar to that. It's they say. I'm like, sim- if they do it to you, it's karma, and how you react to it. it it's how you react to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. I, yeah. I couldn't finish it. But yeah, guys, enjoy. I, like I'm loving TikTok. I blame you. No, I blame don't you. Blame me. Look, guys, I only stay TikTok only for a few minutes. It's just um, I just want to learn some dance. Move. Is that code? Huh? A few minutes. Is that code for something? Oh. Like three hours? Nah, I can't. <laughs> you can't? I really can't. I can't. <laughs> Maybe I look, I'll bring my phone to the toilet, guys. <laughs> so, Yuck. Uh, Do you wipe that? <laughs> there's no COVID. <laughs> it's negative. Oh, so have you found, uh, I don't know how much th- of this is true, but right, um, they've trying to find, you know how they see, you see statistics on drug uses in yep. the in the States? Do you know how they do that? I um, no idea. Sewerage. Oh yes. Okay. Now, yep. Same goes in. Uh, yeah, that's how they do it down here. It, so the cocaine use that drops in, right, for in uh, Sydney sewerage. Yeah. It's, it's the stat wise, and they know where it's coming from. Yeah. And would they know which suburbs this and which yep. suburbs that, and Bondi is the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but it was is mentioned. Bondi yeah, h- high. Uh, very high. Uh, just but the amount of people using. Right now, the snowflakes or the uh, cocaina or cocaine 
is pretty high. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. and some of them, it's not even pure grade. It's some of them are literally mixture, you know. Right. From. Um, well, go in that. It's like hot speed. It, no, what I'm trying to say is rather than it's 100% cocaina, it's mixture with baby uh, baby formula oh, okay. or something also. They pick it up also on the surge, Novocaine. The Novocaine is what they use on anesthetic to your anesthesia oh. to your when you go to dentist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, see, Tito Darius knows about <laughs> this when it comes to. So, my thing is they, they're using that same procedure uh, to see the COVID. To see where the hotspots are. Are they? Yeah. So they test the sewage for the COVID. I don't know how much of that is true. Oh, okay. Pause the podcast. Okay. If you are listening on your phone, pick it up right now. Go on to your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Get us at the B-Side Word. And did you know that we actually record these with video as well? You can find us on YouTube. Again, at the B-Side Word. And we would love it if you subscribe. Uh, sus- uh, I can't even speak. A subscribe. Uh, yeah, there we go. The if remix. you want, you can leave us some comments. We love to engage. And you know what? Let me ask you this. If you do follow us on any of these already, what is it you would like to see from us? Leave us some comments. Let us know. What he said. What he said. Subscribe. I can't say the word for some reason. Subscribe. Unpause the podcast. I need to get back into JITS. I need to like It's funny. It's funny that you came this week when i saw you oh, mm. well i couldn't disturb you sorry you were doing yoga and mobility mm. and how did you find it was it your first time doing yoga doing anything no no i meant first time ever no 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 i used to, I, I had a i had a yogi what's a yogi uh, a guy that uh, oh, does yoga yeah he's okay. an expert in yoga so that's uh okay so you did yoga before I, yeah i was, I was, so you, I was yeah. getting really really good at it so you were bare naked or no not the i only got up to the steam the steam oh, part, the hot yoga the hot yoga that's for me that i couldn't breathe in that that's one so hard yeah to breathe, breathe you're right that was bikram yoga bikram yeah bikram that's in netflix man it became a sex uh, sex predator yeah vikram he made money by sex spread he's, he's not allowed in the u.s <coughs> covid uh, what do you mean he's not allowed no, or or else he'll be detained. <coughs> Didn't you see uh, Netflix? No. Nah. You all right? Yeah. No uh, water? No, nah, it's okay. <coughs> I got Insta, so, instant. <laughs> so, yeah, Vic, uh, Vikram Yoga. Vic, uh, Vikram, he literally, look, it was a good marketing tool, mm. but he was just a sex predator. Mm. So, made, must, made so much money and people, he travels the world just to teach literally Vikram. To cut, uh, long story short, or cut mm. stories, he literally made money. He had jets, global, a global, global name. The Vikram itself, it's a global, it's IP, it's a trademark. Yeah. Yes. You can't, you can't, you can't just teach Vikram yoga. Vikram Chaudhuri. So you can't just, him? yeah, you can't just teach Vikram without doing his syllabus or his course. Really? Yeah. That's why he did. That's what happens when he got found out and became becoming a sex predator. Huh. You gotta watch it. Is Big Room in jail? No, he's not. He's somewhere in Mexico, I think. He's not he's not residing in the US. No, he's not. Yeah. Yeah, he's wow. he's not because v I wouldn't say his visa, but he will be detained if he comes back. Man, you know what? man, it doesn't matter. Like, uh, well, I hear all these, like, it's so Conspiracy? frustrating. No, no, it's so frustrating to hear, like, people that brought you joy or brought you some sort of um, experience to your life, right? Added to the person that you are. And then you find out years later. There's a, there's something in the back. Yeah. Yeah. What can you do? And it, uh, I don't know. It's, it's so frustrating. I guess it's the power that went into their head. Yeah. yeah so it's because, more than that. Because you reckon when, it's the power? It's the power. You reckon? You reckon they were like okay? So my thinking because is because if you watch the movie Vikram, yeah, if you watch the movie. Uh, I mean, no, no, I'm no, talking no, about anyone. Anyone, right? Yeah. If you watch, I'm just gonna say whatever docos that I've seen in Netflix, guys, like Epstein. Okay, how they have this, or I wouldn't say aura, the attitude of being a powerful. the bravado. Yeah, it's, mm. I wouldn't say yeah, I would say male bravado yeah. or being literally on top. Yeah. That, Alpha. Said, I got you. Mm. You're gonna be mine. Yeah, straight away. 
you know and if i say you jump you jump yeah yeah, yeah. so it's, it's you, apparently you're gonna say how high all right yeah and the it's like uh yeah every netflix doco who has the would you say biography of themselves of that person mm. it's literally like that it's would you consider chap el chapo a good guy or a bad guy i don't know anything about el chapo do you know talk, go, uh, uh, do you know talk, talk to me about el chapo look give me a brief he summary may be, my opinion is not uh, your opinion tell me a brief summary first look he say a brief summary according to uh, guys i didn't read the the book i uh, just watched the netflix doco all right yeah, yeah. he is a one of those uh, mexican cartel literally the kingpin right mm. so he was a drug runner from where he started yeah then after that he became became more because he was back then he was just only doing uh let's say local yeah now when he started doing with oh, no no is el chapo El Chapo or El Chapo's the ones the Mexican. Who are you talking about? There's two of them. There's the one the Brazil, uh, the Colombian guy. Oh, the Colombian yeah. guy that everyone knows. Yeah. Um, so El Chapo's the Mexican cartel yeah. ones. That's yeah. the that's the low one. Well, same thing. So he was just a good runner. He just rise onto the rank. Yeah. But to cut the story short, he knew he was ruthless. He knew he knew what the market wanted, cocaine. Because back then, there were not much drugs on the route going to the U.S., right? Or they were selling weeds or marijuana by by the kilos. Yeah. So, it's not enough money. Right. So, cocaine was the biggest deal. Okay. Okay. So, okay. he became literally, how would you say, the highway between the South America to the U.S. Right. So... He had everything. Mexico? Yeah, Mexico. Yeah, but that's not South America, is it? Oh, oh he's down the, oh, from yeah, Colombia, yeah, okay, right? Saying, so saying. to me, Mexico's in South America. Mexico is not Mexico's not South America, is it? Yeah. Is it? Nah, that's Central. Is it Central America? But All right, so... All right, so... so look, oh, North, sorry, North America. So North America, so sorry. El Chapo did Guzman. Yeah, Guzman, oh, Guzman something. What's his real name? El Chapo. Oh. Joaquin. Uh, Joaquin Guzman. Jo- Joaquin Guzman. Uh, so I'm right. I'm I'm really right there. So all right. So you've so he's a drug lord. What what's your do you think he's a good guy or a bad guy? On a poverty line, he provided. What do you mean? He provided for the poor. Did he? Yeah. Same guy. And 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 then they gave him Because this is how right, it works, right? right? Guys, if you have nothing and even now, even now, right now, through COVID in Mexico or Mexico, the uh, the Sinaloa cartel through El Chapo, even though he's in jail right now, it's like a politics. So he's, because remember, he's literally, his wealth is unknown. It's, it could be a billionaire. No, he said estimated net worth is two between two and four billion. There you go. Estimated net worth. Could yeah. be more, right? It could be more. Because it's drug money. Yeah. But how he gives to his community, yeah, especially now yeah. because the government's not helping. Yeah, it's like a uh, is is it the right word to use propaganda or just to to show character? Even though he's in jail, every every how would you say all those food handouts or it may be, it's all his faces. El Chapo, really? El Chapo. Oh, he's uh, branded. He's his... branded. It's all El Chapo, and the cartels are doing it. Wow. So recently, I think four months ago. I think El Chapo's son was arrested. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. It's because of three boys. Man, it became a civil war. Uh, the government backed out because they had everything. They couldn't, uh, they, they had to give a, uh, give back the son back or else it's going to be a, a, a civil war inside. How come El Chapo can't just leave then? No, El Chapo's in the US. He's been extradited. Oh. oh yes. So he broke that once uh, to the maximum security. Yeah. Yeah. It says that's it not, Yeah. The, that's the funniest thing about it. Yeah. He broke that once. Then the second one, uh, they extradited him to the US. Really? Yeah. There's a lot of uh, high political, like the Noriega family. So I could go on and on about this. You love this kind of stuff, eh? It's because it's it's real. It real. I reckon it's something to do with our uh, heritage. It's real. It's real. 
uh, I just found out that Philippines was bought by during the Spaniards and I went back. I went back to the I love my history, guys. If you guys love your heritage, so the and the history of the Philippines, for me I'm a Filipino French. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so, bonjour. Como esta? So, what happens right during the the war between the Spaniards and the US? So, that's in the Isles of the Philippines. They the Spaniard lost, so they ha- handed over to it costs to buy us that's how much philippine worth 20 million us dollars back when though back the 1800s right during the that's car. a lot of money that's a lot of money but man they just sold us for 20 like you know, like you know 20 million yeah, years, yeah. you know then another 300 more years of occupation <laughs> of the spain and uh, the americans yeah the americans. Know, so it's just funny you know how how the colonialism just mm. buys us out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we're a product. We're not even a... We're not a product. We'll be... Yeah. Literally, you're just a... The right word's katulong or mate or just a boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's what it. You're saying. But the how you... How, how you read it? Wow. It's just like it blows out my mind. Because mm. there's a lot you, could, of, you can't do it now. Do you remember when Donald Trump wanted to buy uh, Denmark? Did he? Yeah. He wanted to buy Denmark. And Denmark said we're not for sale <laughs> because he could probably he could probably do it. You know, uh, he, he had the money. How is he gonna buy them? Yeah, the how money. How do you buy something that's not for sale? But you can buy islands. You know that, right? Yeah, islands is different. The, he wants to buy Denmark. It's a country, <laughs> so I didn't know he was trying to. But you, you could buy an island. Oh, was it Denmark or Iceland? One of them. One of them. Anyway, one so of the. So it's funny. So uh, the Nordics. Nordic, yeah, yeah. The, the, the Nordics. So I love watching those the kind Viking. of Viking. All right. Other from that? It. I think it's it. Done. Guys, thank you. It's good to be back. You know, we're just uncuffed, uncensored. Yes, we, we're going to be alive. We're going to be alive. <laughs> alive and live, right? So, but look, let's just keep it real. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I like it. Keep the double Ds alive. I like it. Raw double D. Raw double D. I'm, 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 What's his A cup? Make up. Uh, that's the reason I didn't get the job at Preston Things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank All right, you guys. guys. Peace. It's good, man. It's good. So you never tried it before. But you do.